The roadmap that was promised last week by David Braben has arrived. We're going to discuss what it's doing, what it isn't doing and the singular really important sentence in it that we didn't expect to see. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Elite's lead community manager Arthur Tolmy today took to the forums to post an announcement about the immediate future of fixes and updates to Elite Dangerous Odyssey in response to the public furor around the state of the game following its launch two and a bit weeks ago. The roadmap which is linked below this video contains the roadmap section itself and then some further comments about the road forward in general terms. Whilst the roadmap section is interesting and indeed useful it's the latter half of the announcement that has piqued our interest specifically but we'll come on to that in a moment. So first of all the roadmap itself then. It's split into 3 major updates over the next 3 weeks with general improvements and fixes forming a part of each weekly update. Each weekly patch will also feature UI updates in different weekly specific areas and then the addition of features which are not new to Elite but are new to Odyssey and were conspicuous by their absence. So in addition to the weekly general fixes then. Week 1 on the 10th of June will see changes to the loadout UI flow and the ability to earn arcs for on foot gameplay. Week 2 on Thursday the 17th of June will see suit livery UI flow changes and the addition of commander codex stats and week 3 on the 24th of June will see the addition of shared or team missions, further galaxy and system map UI changes and updates to the outfitting UI. Frontier is promising that each update will be of a similar size to updates 1 and 2 that we've seen so far and will contain in their words quote enhancements to the overall Odyssey player experience including incremental performance issues for specific circumstances and or system configurations unquote. If you were expecting more of a roadmap of where Odyssey as a product is heading then you'll be disappointed but in fairness to Frontier that isn't what they were promising. When David Braben took to the Frontier forums a week ago during the opening salvos of the firestorm that has sadly been the signature of the Elite Dangerous Odyssey launch he used the word roadmap to describe how they were going to get the game out of the pickle it is in not where our Elite feet will be taking us next. So far so retroactive patch notes. After patch 5 on Thursday the 24th of June the plan is for the development to refocus onto the console launch of Odyssey which will itself apparently bring further performance enhancements to the game. Frontier clearly believing that at that point the game will be in a solid enough state that it will be able to take its foot off the PC gas somewhat. The announcement does make some small mention of the terrain geometry and lighting in the game and attempts to reassure that it is being looked at and further promises that will be updated on the situation as the weeks progress. This still leaves us a little unclear as to whether the Stellar Forge correctly spat out the planetary surfaces that they were expecting it to so watch this space quite literally. The announcement then goes on however to talk about the always sticky issue of communication from Frontier. The statement addresses the community wide dissatisfaction with Frontiers communication in a way that they have never done before. Not only does it acknowledge this but it then further acknowledges that their previous attempts at roadmaps detailing content drops into the game have in their words not hit the mark. The statement then continues saying that they've heard the feedback and will be working on initiatives that will bring the community more in touch with the development progress. These initiatives are being kicked off with the commencement of a monthly community update where the company will share and highlight progress that the development team have been making over the month and they finish by saying that they'll be sharing more details about the monthly communique and other initiatives over the coming weeks. As I've mentioned this is the first time certainly that I'm aware of that FTEV have acknowledged that the elite community is dissatisfied with the communication that comes from the company and that is progress. 
It's a real shame however that it took the community reaching crisis point and almost utterly imploding with frustration and anger before Frontier acknowledged their comms issues. The bull is very firmly in Frontiers court now. They have an opportunity to deliver on a promise of more open communication and I vehemently hope that they seize that opportunity with both paws. The community will be watching closely what happens from this point on. Whatever the reason or cause we have to accept that this is where Elite Dangerous is now. The past is the past but there is a chance now for Frontier to move forward, take this horrendously negative situation and turn it around for the benefit of all. So does the roadmap go far enough for you and how are you feeling now about Frontier's promise of a revamped communication policy? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.